Hello there, truth seekers. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of raw news and analysis. Ladies and gentlemen, gather around for a tale of glamour, ambition, and a dash of controversy. Today, we find ourselves in the midst of a royal storm where accusations fly, contracts crumble, and one woman finds herself at the center of it all, Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex. But stop right there, guys, before we get into the juicy details, be sure to subscribe. Believe me, you won't want to miss what's coming up next. So you probably heard the whispers, the rumors that Meghan was set to become the face of a high-end fashion brand, a move that could have solidified her status as a style icon. But alas, those dreams have been shattered. Reports of a £1 million pound contract deal have been vehemently denied by the luxury fashion brand involved. And what does Meghan do? Blame British royal family. Even though she's been out of the family for three years, her supporters, her so-called Sussex squad, are quick to rally behind her, accusing the roles of damaging reputations. But let's take a moment to pause and consider another member of the family, Zara Phillips, the niece of King Charles, a woman who has quietly and confidently carved her own path in the world of high-end fashion. Zara, the Musto ambassador for a staggering 16 years, has shown the world what true dedication and talent can achieve. Her collaborations with Musto have not only brought a significant revenue, but have also solidified her reputation as a respected figure in the fashion industry. And let's not forget, it's not just about modelling for Zara. She's a woman of many talents. Zara, a mother of three, has seamlessly balanced her family life with her professional endeavours. She understands the essence of hard work, dedication, and the pursuit of excellence. Unlike Meghan, she doesn't rely on blaming others for her setbacks. Instead, she faces challenges head-on, whether it's in her modelling career or her competitive streak on the tennis court. Megan, on the other hand, finds herself in the midst of controversy again. Her alleged grift with Spotify, a deal worth a staggering $25 million, came to an abrupt end, leaving many questioning authenticity. And now, with the failed fashion deal, one can't help but wonder, is Megan truly the victim here, or is she, as some have suggested, a master manipulator? In the grand scheme of things, this tale serves as a stark reminder that the success is not bestowed upon us. It's earned through hard work, talent, and determination. Zara Phillips stands as a testament to that truth, a woman who has earned her place in the fashion world through years of dedication and passion. Megan, on the other hand, seems to have been embroiled in a never-ending cycle of controversy, blaming others for her own missteps. So what do you guys think about the news? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time for more raw news and analysis.